So, so I know you've been working a lot in innovation. Uh, how do you, how do you find the state of the frameworks for valuing or evaluating innovation are at the moment, and do they need to change? That's a very good question. Um, I think it depends where you, where you um, where you draw the lines. And the 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 answer for uh, the creation of the initial innovation movement is different from the commercialization of that innovation, which is different from the the buying decision from that innovation. So there's sort of like three chunks to this. The initial innovation sort of spark of creativity that's a difficult one to put around a business case and i think it's almost a way of living that some people have and some people it's just what they do and i don't th think you can set off down an innovative route and say i'm going to do this innovation because i'm going to make 15 percent irr on this one innovation i i think you you what what we discovered is if you have, uh, pursue a portfolio of good ideas in lots of different ways, some of them will work and some of them won't. And on average, you'll get something out of it at the end of the day, and it's quite useful to do. And if you take that sort of approach um, to those to those sparks of creativity style ideas, I think that's the way to go. I, I think if you, if you try to boil that down too quickly, you're going to you know, you, you, you know well, you won't have enough information to make the decision because you have to make it on your beliefs and your assumptions. And therefore your beliefs and assumptions are probably incorrect and they won't be challenged until you go down those routes to find out what's possible. So I think if you calculate that too, too hard, you've overthought the problem using assumptions that are probably not correct and you need to find more information in order to get there. So I think yeah. that's that bit is, is one part. Then you've got the commercialization of, of innovation and that that's tend to be where where i work most is in that i how do we catch those good ideas recognize them for what they are and find a way to bring them to a to market so that's the commercial innovation which is very much where i play and that it, i think that can be a process can be applied to that um and it the the the, the issue at that point is it, it, it's rarely um, false uh, false negatives that's not that's not usually the, uh, the problem at that point because by the time you get there it's false positives which are the expensive thing because you've seen the ideas you know what they are and you, you understand what they do and what they could enable you, you do understand that at this point but what you don't understand is how to turn that into something which is uh, going to make money out of it. And a false positive in that is quite expensive because you can go all the way down the track and then discover that you've overlooked something rather fundamental, uh, not in the product, but in its application. You have misunderstood the customer situation, their alternatives, and how they're thinking so that what you think is a great idea is only a great idea with the assumptions that you use and your assumptions are wrong and you can spend quite a lot of time and effort going down that road so so i work with companies in that space to put a a, a, um, a framework in place that maintains momentum but yet gets you to think about what do you really know here and what are you assuming and how do you test the assumptions that you have and and understand which options you you could have for commercializing this choosing one and then moving moving forward and building out the, the coalitions of the different people that you need to make that work it's just on this team-based approach uh, you know when you get to the other end uh, i know i worked with, with you um early on in, in, with some of your your customers and this idea of bringing customers in very early was fundamentally necessary to clarify our own thinking about what the product did because we knew what it could do but we didn't really know the other side's problems we thought yeah. we knew, sort of like that but it wasn't that's not really our world that's their world uh, yeah and if you get the right person to go i've got this solution that sort of does this and they go yeah it does that but it actually does this really well yeah it does that too that's fine you know that that ability to, to, to understand all those different viewpoints put it together that's when you 
you find that commercial commercial solution within those innovations, and that's the, the, the difficulty.